Hello, ladies and gentlemen, is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button as we film a little bit of a different video today. I don't know if this is going to be a full-length video or not, but it's something a little bit different. Um, but this is the Mac collection that I made a community post about and got like over 10 votes and they were all a resounding yes, like yes, show off your Mac collection. Um, so for those of you who don't know, one of my favorite pastimes in this game is actually Mac collecting. I've collected a lot of different mats over the years, whether it's because I've won them or because I bought them, whatever the case may be. Um, little side note actually for quite a, I would say a few years for several core sets, um, I kept on winning the Winamat uh, at the what they now call core booster premieres, which are basically just, you know, sneak peeks. Um, so, like, I had a lot of the old um, sneak peek mats that I actually ended up selling to Robbie Cole uh, for, like, 70 bucks, like 10 bucks a piece. So, like, I had the Code of the Duelist one. I had the one that had Leviathan Dragon on the front. I forget what set that was. So I had a lot of those. A lot of those have been sold off just over time because uh, they weren't really maintaining a whole lot of value. Um, but this is basically the main collection. The only one here that's not here is the uh, Guilford the Lightning or whatever it was, the Guilford the Legend Monster. And it also had Dark Eradicator Warlock. It was uh, an old upper deck play mat. That's not on here. I do have one of those somewhere. It's just those don't really have a lot of value. At least I don't think that they do. But anyway, these are just the main mats that I will primarily pick as my weapon of choice uh, whenever I go to an event. So as you can see, we have the Goku Jiren two-player mat. This is the mat that you see me do all my deck profiles on. Uh, really nice mat from Meta Mats, hence why there's the MM. Um, really enjoy this mat. It's got that cloth feel similar to like a Spellgrounds mat. And uh, yeah, it's a very fantastic mat. Haven't even washed it since I've had it for a few years, and it, it still looks absolutely fantastic. Next up here is the gray Spellgrounds mat that, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, um, it's aged well, but hasn't aged well. On the other side of this mat, uh, there's actually a little blue ink spot that uh, a pen exploded in my bag, and it ended up on the mat. It's not super noticeable. That's why we picked the clean side. Um, I just never got around to cleaning it, and I really don't use it all that often. If I were to ever sell it, I would definitely like deep clean it, scrub that out and, you know, fix it and, you know, sell it off. Um, I actually got this from an old buddy of mine. Shout out to you, Greg. I uh, hope you're doing well, man. Um, bought this from him for 70 bucks and it's still a fantastic uh, Spellgrounds playmat. I think the gray ones are actually pretty hard to come by. So it was a fantastic piece to add to a collection. I wanted a Spellgrounds for years. So I figured that I would get a nice gray one from my friend. And we have the Creme de la Creme, my first ever playmat that I've had for over a decade. Still has the upper deck logo. And if we take a look around the mat here, we have signatures upon signatures upon signatures. We have Jarrell Pro Star Winston that in his words, and I quote, when someone asked him at, a, I think it was YCS Orlando where I met him, someone said, why'd you put a star next to your name? And he said, because I'm a star. <laughs> we got uh, Slim X Team Symmetry. I hope you're doing well, Slim. We got uh, Kiko 25X. Shout out to you, Kiko. I hope you're doing well. Or I'm sorry, that's not Kiko. This is uh, Kiko on up here. If I zoom in, that is, uh, I actually can't, oh, that's uh, Kevin Silva. Kevin Silva signed it. Uh, Kiko 25X here. We got Sean Covert. I actually played against him at YCS Orlando. I don't even think he even plays the game anymore. M. Cole 40, Billy Brake. We got Simon He, uh, Paz Joker, Alex Thunderpants Vanson. We got Patrick, uh, I actually forgot that I got Patrick Hoban on here. Huh. I, f I forgot about that, actually. Um, I don't remember who this is. I think it was a Yugi tuber I actually don't remember who that is. Uh, and I think that this... I don't remember who this was. God, all these old signatures, man. But yeah, no, some some of the greatest names in this game's history. Paz Joker, I don't even think he even plays anymore. I think he does, like, GOAT format. Alex Thunderpants Vanson. He used to have a YouTube channel called Thunderpants123. This is uh, definitely one of my more favorite mats. My dad bought this for me, uh, one of our old locals. Shout out to Dan Sports Cards and Games. Still a fantastic mat. I love using it from time to time. And uh, yeah, it's especially fun for retro formats whenever we're going back in time. Now we get into the more nitty gritty of this collection. So underneath, we've got the 100 YCS mat that we'll show off in a second. But this is the 200th YCS mat. So now hopefully y'all understand why uh, I want one of y'all to hit me up if you end up going to the 250th YCS because we want to keep the collection alive. Um, we have the 100th and the 200th. I don't know if they ever did a play map for the 150th. If they have, I just haven't gotten around to getting it. And I don't know if they did one for the 25th or the 50th YCS. 
but I definitely want that one from the 250th YCS. The 200th YCS mat is, is cool. I like how they have the names of all the YCSs on here uh, on both sides. Um, I actually like though better the 250th YCS mat much better, um, but this one is still just fantastic to have. And as I just mentioned, we have the 100th YCS mat. We got tour guide or with, you know, the bus, soul absorbing bone tower. You could even say this is tour bus. It's all the same girl. It's all tour guide. You got the 100th YCS mat, all of the names of the YCS is all around this circle. I'm still, like I said, excited for the 250th YCS mat. That one looks so good. But the 100th one is definitely a money grabber. We ended up paying, I think like 60 for the 200th. And then I think we paid like 80 or 120 for the 100th mat. So these are only gonna go up over time. If I'm gonna invest in a mat, I I want to be able to go up over time um so you know as as a good investment i really do like this one it's definitely a trip down memory lane especially if you played in like edison format in 2011 2012 where tour guide was like 150 fucking dollars um like you had to have tour guide in order to be competitive so yeah that this this map perfectly encompasses that then we have a generic black mat. This is my dad's mat that he's used for years. Not much else to say about it. It's his first ever mat. It's pretty much the only one he uses other than the two-player mat. And then I have this mat that I actually picked up at a convention uh, in Florida several years back that I went to with uh, my best friend. Uh, it's a Pokemon mat. I'm not really a fan of this one. I picked it up for like 20 bucks. It's got these little like seams here that like if you have a set card and you try and pick it up, it gets caught up on these little laces here. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of it. I use it like once or twice and these laces were just pissing me off. It was hard to pick up my cards, but as a uh, map piece, I freaking love it. Charmander playing the Game Boy, Squirtle and Bulbasaur looking over. Bulbasaur is still my favorite. He's just the best of all time. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful piece. I'm glad I picked it up at the convention. Then we have the DBZ Goku Super Saiyan mat, or some dude going Super Saiyan. Uh, my dad jokes and says, yeah, this is you when you get pissed off in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but he got me this one for my birthday several years ago. I actually haven't used it all that much. It's a really nice, like, thick cloth mat. I need to use it more because uh, it really is a fantastic piece. I really do like it. Um, but, yeah, I've had it for several years. It's, it's another one in the collection. I just I need to use it more, honestly. I haven't used it all that much since I got it. We also have the regional 2011 Nordic God play mat. I remember my dad also got me this one. I think when uh, I scrubbed out at a regional and barely missed top cut, and he's like, well, let me go ahead and get you this mat. This mat looks cool. So uh, we've got this mat as well. Of course, my dad uses it from time to time too, but he mostly just uses the two player uh, official, I guess they call it like Master Duel mat, even though it's not based on the game Master Duel, but it's like it has all the zones pictured, extra monster zones, things like that. I actually don't have that one on me or else I would show that one as well. Um, but it's it's a regional mat. It, it has gone up in value from what I understand uh, because it's an old 2011 mat. It's over a decade old. So yeah, very, very beautiful mat. Then we have one of my favorite of all time, the Perfect Circle Light and Darkness Dragon Mat. I actually got this from like a third-party website. I can't remember the name for the life of me, but they did custom play mats. And I actually just ordered yesterday, uh, or what's it? Yeah, I ordered it on a Thursday, actually, because uh, today's Saturday. And uh, it looks exactly like this, the Perfect Circle Lad Mat, but it's got more of like a rainbow colorful background. It was a Time Wizard side event poster. This one, though, was made many years before that. Um, the black and white finish, it just, it looks so good. This is one of, if not my favorite mat of all time. I've used it for years. I used it when I played Frog Monarch back in like, I think like honestly Edison format. I've used it for years. I love it. It's just an amazing mat. I, I will always love this mat. Light and Darkness is one of my favorite cards of all time, as I've talked about before. Next up, we have another custom play mat. This was a JD mat that I could not pass up on. I saw this online and I had to swipe it up. I think it was like 40 bucks. Also, the Light and Darkness one was like 60. Um, so overall, this collection, I haven't spent a whole lot of money. Some of these mats, like even the regional mat, the Nordic one was only like $15. Um, so I haven't like really broke the bank on any of these mats other than the Light and Darkness one we ordered, which is like basically $200. But this one was a $40 pickup. I really, really like it. Um, the nice blue finish on JD, especially like, you know, if you want to play Light Sworn and just tell the opponent that you're playing Judgment Dragon and playing Light Sworns and all that, it's such a beautiful piece. I, I really do like it a lot. Um, yeah, JD is, is another awesome card that when I got into the game competitively in 2008-2009-ish, uh, uh, JD was just such a cool card to me. Last but not least, we have the 2010 Yusei Fudo mat. I actually actually haven't been able to find a price on this. The one time I did find a price, there was only two listed on eBay, one for 100 and then one for 120. So I have no idea what this goes for. Um, but 
funny enough, my dad actually won this at a regional. We, we sat down at the, the table and it was a long lengthy table. My dad was sitting near the end of the table and I was near the middle. And the judge does a call out and he says, this person won this mat simply because they were the only one that typed up their deck list. And he calls out my dad's name. So then my dad just told the judge, hey, just give it to my son and let him use it. So I used it for that uh, that round, actually throughout that whole day and actually ended up uh, winning that round. And I think I went like X3, barely missing my invite at that regional as we always do. We just bubble out, on, out by the last round. But it's a fantastic mat, very hard to come by. I haven't been able to find any mats like this online uh like i said other than the two that were like 100 and 120 respectively um but definitely a piece that i very much like it's you know people love 5ds people love the synchro era especially 2010 i mean it's just such a fantastic time in Yu-Gi-Oh. so yeah i mean if anyone can find a prize for this let me know down in the comments below ladies and gentlemen that is the mat collection let me know what you think about it down in the comments below like i said i also had uh that two-player mat that my dad uses pretty much all the time. I just, I can't find it for the life of me. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about all these mats and I will see you in the next video.